Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to add a uh, assertion or page validations in your load runner. So before going to add the assertion, so what are the assertions in load runner or any other performance tool, what is the assertion? Assertion is a uh, page check or validation check to go to next step. Let's take an example. So uh, you are using a, uh, in our script you are using the octop of your application. So I'm using the temporary, I'm using a username password as a user one as a username and pass as password. So when I click login, when I click login, so I will after getting the response, we will validate the response uh, text. So some of the text from your response. So here we'll check welcome ABC for the user one. So if you don't get the welcome text in your response, then that's going to fail. So let's take it. Let's check here. So what is it? What is the uh, response we're getting when user is uh, logging successfully? So go uh, view source. Here we are getting control F. I'm doing control F and that do welcome. So welcome is three occurrences, and I will log out now, and I will check the page source again. So are we getting any welcome here? uh welcome welcome so if there is no if the user is not logged in then the occurrence is two when the user logs successfully then the will occurrences are three okay so this we are going to validate it because we have a, a welcome text a welcome uh welcome in our response or not in our scripts we add what step it login step Okay, so now to come to your script. So this is uh, on top of uh, JPEG store script of LR. So this is the home page logging into the home or launching the home page here. And this is clicking on sign in button link. Uh, here we are doing logging into the application. And this is the logout. Okay, so we need to add our sessions to login step. Right. So here to add a validation in your web script load runner. So what we can use is uh, we can use web break find web break find uh, and with the text what text you want to search it and uh, what text you want to search it and you uh, want condition. So it's basically second parameter the condition. So fail when not found and this is the last. So if you want to fail your uh, request transaction, when it is found, then make the value equal to fail equal to form. Fail equal to form. So in our case, you want to fail, then the text is not found. So I'm making it a not found. Okay. Uh, so this is one way. And one of the most uh, important thing what I want to say is, when you're going to add a web break find for a request, Please make sure you are adding above your request, not below the request. So uh, generally people will think like it will execute after this. So uh, after submitting the request, it will check for validation. No, no, no. So we need to add the public file above the current the, so the request where you want to do that assertion. So now I want to do my assertions to login step. The login step is this. So I'm adding my assertion text in above that request. Okay. And the second point which I want to highlight is don't add your web break find or think times under your LR start in between LR start and LR end. Because the time taken to find this text will also include in your response time if you add in between LR start and LR end transaction. So that is the reason why I have added my web break find above the LR start transaction. Okay, so uh, if you have two requests in your transaction, if you have two requests in your transaction, so you want to add your session to the second request, then add just above second request by resuming your transaction. So you will have the LR uh, transaction resume, uh, LR resume transaction. You will have LR resume transaction. And uh, uh, so you use that uh, transaction to it will stop your timer there and it will do the validation check and then it will add your uh, it will add your uh, uh, response time to the exact request and it will give it as a response time. 
okay so make sure you are using a large region if you are using the uh, think times or a uh, break signs or correlations or anything in between the request just please make sure you're adding a large region uh, between your request to avoid the time it is taken to correlate or capture the value or tables do the pay violation or the think times uh now yeah we come now coming to the session what we're going to add here so i'm using a text welcome here so if you see that welcome as a real in our script uh, in our sorry in our ui it has two occurrences now the user has not logged in so uh user has logged successfully then we have three occurrences with the abc uh as a login okay so if there is any text that you can make generate then uh, uh make sure you are using the right assertion to uh, validate your page so if you add only welcome here then even if it is fail in even your request is fail you will have a text welcome in your response so make sure you are using right text right text for your assertion so now i'm adding welcome abc so now i'm adding welcome abc okay now just i'm replaying it uh just replay it we'll see uh, how it behaves now so it ha it should not fail in our case now it should not fail in our case now yeah the home page has passed uh next uh the account sign in has passed now it has to pass the login now yeah pass success now it will be logged out it's logged out okay yeah, it was passed successfully now we'll change our assertions to the session text to welcome one just for validation now we'll play it again uh, we'll wait for the uh, now it, it has to fail we'll wait for the failure message so lorna will throw the message uh, uh, very uh, decently so uh, in that end uh, now we're going to log in let's now we'll see it was failed now if you go to the output if you go to the output here you go to the output to see it was failed or uh, what it was saying it was saying uh, login failed a uh, failed one error and the text welcome not found on your break file okay so that welcome text is not found yeah so now we're making the welcome now we're making the welcome so the welcome a b c will work for the user only uh, user one user one so what is uh, what if user two comes so we have an another way that we can make use of is like instead of fail we can do save count attribute uh, where it will save the count of your text into the variable so i'm using welcome underscore count here okay so when you use the the welcome, it will check for the welcome text occurrences and it will save the number of occurrences it found in the response and save into this variable now you need to keep your assertion check here so uh, if if i am adding here if a to i so why i am using a to i here so it was converting as k to uh, alphabet so alphabet to integer uh now lr eval string eval string open bracket close bracket uh double quote and a floor bracket which your variable what is the variable name welcome call so uh this variable is accessible only to your load in the script so it will not uh, uh accessible to your c language so when you keep this condition uh you need you need an integer value to keep equal to here so what i'm doing is equal to 3 now if it is equal to 3 then uh, eval string will take this value as a variable and it will evaluate to into a string then the string value is converted using the method function a to i now by this point you will get the integer value and you comparing with the integer if it is equal to 3 then uh, cut this uh it should not or should not be auto anymore so it should be pass when the count is equal to 3 else else the transaction has failed so now i am making uh so sorry 
LR underscore underscore fail. fail. So if it is count not equal to three, then it will fail. So we'll check the validations here. So you're welcome. I'm replaying it. So you you uh, it's compilation. We have compilation as well. So to validate this one more time, we need to add one more bracket here. Yeah. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to add right text for the assertion. Uh, if it uh, works with uh, text assertion and if you have the text what you're looking for is only uh, look, uh, giving in the response only when it's valid response then that should be fine. If you're getting the same text when it is failed, when it is passed then you can make use of a generic uh, uh, generic text which you can use for the assertion accurately or if it, the count is differing from the login and log fail, then you can use a save count attribute here. We can use a save count or we use a save count. So as per the requirement, we can use, but if you use the save count, then you need to handle your uh, pass and fail transaction. If you use uh, auto, uh, if you use uh, fail equal to fail not found or fail equal to found, uh, then it uh, decides, Lodon will decides based on your uh, response assertion configuration, what you mentioned here. Okay, now if you go to the output, if you go to the output, the count, what you, sh what it has shown here, uh, what it has shown here is, what it shown here is passed. The welcome count is three. Okay, so now uh, what we'll do, oh sorry, what we'll do, what we'll do is uh, we'll add our we'll add our script now we'll add our script now and we'll go down uh, now what we'll do we'll take uh, welcome welcome one now so the welcome one should not occur at least once it should not have at least once then it has to fail now. Uh, yeah, just started the replay. It will uh, throw failure now. It will show the uh, count is not one now. Count equal to zero. And if you see that it was failed now, state of is failed. State of is failed. Uh, we yeah, we mentioned the status has failed. So the script showing has passed, but the transaction has failed. The transaction execution has failed. Make sure every time when the green script pass doesn't mean that your script has passed successfully. You need to make sure all your transactions have passed successfully. Okay, thanks for hearing this friends. Hope this helps you.